Hi, it's Michael Lafito, author of the book Luxury Listing Specialist and founder of the Lux designation known as Luxury Listing Specialist or Lux. We recently launched as well a Friday series called Luxury Fridays. Every Friday where we're interacting with the audience, we're taking questions. Check it out by going to Lux joinluxgroup.com joinluxgroup.com we're looking for new team members across the world so if you are interested in incre increasing your average sale price working smarter not harder and attracting more high-end and luxury clients go to joinluxgroup.com join our friday we started it on clubhouse now we're doing it through video but you can listen audio as well last before we get into this month's topic leave us a like leave us a review if you're getting value in this month's video, it's a topic for both agents that represent buyers and agents that represent sellers. We're talking about the appraisal gap. If you're in a market that's appreciating or you're selling a property, I recently had a home under contract when there hasn't been a sale price even close to that in the last seven years in this town. And so comps, if you're worried about comparables and you're worried that the, if you represent the seller, you're worried about the home might not appraise, there's a term called appraisal gap. Or if you're in a competitive offer situation and your buyer really wants to buy the home, but they don't want to waive the appraisal contingency altogether, they can put an appraisal gap in there. So let's keep it really simple. Let's just say a home was listed for two million and you represented the buyer and there were multiple offer situation. They really wanted the home. You could waive the appraisal, but what if it appraises at 1.5 million? Or you could put an appraisal gap in there where it could appraise as low as 1.8 or whatever the number is and your, your buyer will still buy it. They'll bring the difference in cash to the table because the lender won't uh, lend on that. Or you can put an appraisal gap above it. In other words, I'll go as high as 2.2 as long as it appraises at a certain price or higher. You can say it appraises at 2.2 or you could say it's got to appraise at 2,050,000. So an appraisal gap when you represent a buyer is a way to differentiate yourself uh, if you want to go above or if you don't want to waive the appraisal altogether, you can put a, a stop. Okay, like the stocks. Okay, you can put a stop on stocks so they don't uh, fall below a certain mark. Same thing with the appraisal gap. You as a buyer can put a stop, in other words, below the asking price, or you can go above it. It's a way to differentiate your offer from the competition. When you represent a seller and you're worried that it might not appraise at $2 million, you can put a, an appraisal gap in there. So listen, the buyer's going to buy this home even if it doesn't appraise at $2 million, but it has to appraise at fill in the blank, 1.7 and above, or whatever it might be. So you as a you could protect your seller and bring more value to your seller with the appraisal gap conversation so that you aren't in a position where the buyer walks or there's that awkwardness. So address the elephant in the room ahead of time, differentiate. Now they might say, well, why do you want this lower appraisal amount? Aren't you confident it will sell for $2 million? Say, I'm confident, but I know the comparables, but unfortunately I can't control the appraiser and some appraisers, they are known to be wrong. And so we're putting this in as a protection. But if a home is worth only what someone's willing to pay for it, Mr. Buyer's agent, your buyer is willing to pay X, so they shouldn't have a problem lowering the, the appraisal gap, if you will, lowering the appraised value because they're willing to pay X or $2 million in this case. So again, it's a conversation you have. You might want to role play a little bit so you're comfortable with that dialogue. Again, my contact information is below. If you have further questions about the appraisal gap, please shoot me an email. If you have other topics you'd like me to cover, let me know that as well. Last but not least, Luxury Fridays, just a reminder, join luxgroup.com. Check it out every Friday. And if you're getting value from this video or other videos, please leave us a like, leave us a comment. My name is Michael Lafito. Until next time, keep raising the bar in real estate.